Facebook slowly will remove business manager and will replace it with business suite. And as sweet as that is, I have already business manager and I will tour around today with you together to show you all the new features we are getting with the new business suite so that we can manage our business much, much easier. If we have not been formally introduced, my name is Annette Block and we make social media marketing simplified where we are taking marketing and advertising strategies and converting them into easy, understandable step-by-step -step action so that you can implement and use them in your business. And today I am doing nothing else. We have now for a few days business suite on one of our Facebook business pages. And I was able to tour around and I found a few goodies in there so that I want to share with you because slowly Facebook will replace business manager with business suite, especially when you are using business.facebook.com, then you will see that many of you automatically will land in the new business suite and have to navigate around. So um, if you don't know how to get into business manager, especially when you are running advertising, that will be for you as well so that you are going around. We still have access also to the creator studio, but simply I have to go there directly. Some of you may have creator studio, some of you may have it not. It's all depending. Facebook gives it randomly to people, removes it, give, gives new stuff to pages, and now we have to navigate around. Luckily, I do have both still on my business page, and I will show this to you today. So we are here on my business page. Let's switch. So this is my business page. You see me here live right now. And on my business page, I have the new business suite. And also I have the old sidebar where I could go into the creator studio where I can get all the goodies that is now available as well in business suite. So we can open this little arrow and then we can move around where we want to go. If you want to go directly into business suite because you are looking for something, you will want to go to your inbox, your planner, your publishing tools, your lead sender, everything now it's hosted as well in business suite. And actually, it is very sweet because everything is easy accessible. So let's go in into business suite and I will show you the back end and your business suite may look similar depending on the page where you are. Not all pages have already the new business suite, so wait for it, but it is similar to Creator Studio. So here we are in the back at the home of our business suite, which still is connected to our business manager when we are going to certain features. So here we are, we are at the home page and we have a good overview. So here we can switch around to our Facebook business page or we can go to our Instagram account. So as you know, Facebook owns Instagram and now we can access both our business pages and our um, Instagram accounts here on one platform. Now we can create posts here, we can create stories and we can create advertising. So that is actually very easy. Yesterday we got a new tool where we now are able to do a to-do list. I find this very valuable because now I can put something in here where I want to plan maybe plan and schedule my content for June. So I can put this in here. And for me, that needs to be done. Uh, let's say I'm doing it, what is today, the 12th, the 14th. So let's put it on the 21. 
and it will remind me a week before that I have to start creating my content and posting my content. Now, Facebook gives me the opportunity. It's almost similar to Google, where we have a task list I have in my calendar, in my Google calendar. Now I have it right here in my tool where I now can schedule a to-do list where I now Facebook gets lets me remind it. So I don't know how will that work out. So I let it here and I will report back. Probably we need to make a check mark and then it will remind me probably when I'm logging in that I have something to do for the week. So we will see how that works out. I discovered that yesterday it was not there before. So you see Facebook makes it very, very easy for us to stay within Facebook so that we don't need to move out of the platform. Now, then you can see all your recent posts in here and they give you a few details where how many people you reached, your engagement, comments you had. So it gets a little bit deeper and it is when we go to insights, but I believe the Creator Studio has a little bit more information for me, and I will show you exactly what I mean by that. So here we are seeing trends, how our page is growing, and also Facebook is giving us all the time little hints and what we could do. Do not dismiss the little recommendation because that is what Facebook is focusing on and where we should also put our focus on so that we can use the platform best for us so that it's is that it brings us the results we are looking for. So it shows me my recent stories I did and then I can go in and create a story right here for Instagram or for my Facebook business page. Now we also have a planner where we have a good overview what we have scheduled for our content. So if you are not scheduling your content and don't think and have a strategy, I would recommend certainly to think about and start to schedule your week out so that you don't have to go in and say, hmm, what do I post today? So make a strategy, make one week, schedule it in here, and then you are good to go and don't have to worry every day what to post. So that is something we are talking in our art and marketing coaching program. And that is where you make Facebook work for your business, where you use the tool and scheduling up to two months up front so that it is much, much easier for you to stay in front of your Facebook page of your audience and use the tools. So that is very good. We have a good overview what is planned out. And now here we have again a little recommendation. Running ads on a regular basis can help people remember and recall your business. That is what we are told, telling you all the time. Use the advertising strategies not only to lead generate, but also to stay in front of your audience in front of your customer so that they are reminded of you and video views is the best to use and the most affordable. You can go directly with a video view campaign, with a reach campaign where you have more control, how many times people will see your video, or you could go all out with brand awareness, which we are not using too much. We are using usually the rich campaign where we have want control who sees what video and how often, or we leave it broad where we have a video view campaign where we are talking to a broad audience so that they get aware of us who we are. So always click in here, Click the little learn more. Do not disregard those little hints from Facebook. That is where they are putting their focus on it. And also we should 
put the focus on this and use or at least discover what it can do for your business. So here we have grow our audiences. Those are all the people who are already in your network, who are your friends on your personal business page, you can invite over. Many, many of you are asking, where can I find it? It's now here in Business Suite. And if you don't have it on your computer yet, and you are most of the time are on your phone or on your mobile device, now you can use both apps. It is once the business suite app from Facebook and also Facebook Creator Studio. So download these two applications and you easily can invite your current friends from your personal profile over to your business page. Many, many times I see that question, people are not able to invite them anymore directly from Facebook, but you can do it when you have the Creator Studio or if you are using Business Suite on your mobile device. So that is a little hint. And also now Facebook gives us content inspiration if you don't know what to con what to post so here are a few stories that are similar to your business they will look different than in my case but take a look what other people are doing and get simply inspired by it below again as well we have posts you may share because facebook still wants to build a community and wants you to engage and interact with your people, but also with other pages and postings. So that is an overview of our homepage. We do have our notification in here where Facebook now gives us all the, let me go in here, notifications. We have been sent messages, so I leave that a little bit broad so because it has something to do with privacy so that's where you are able to get all the messages you are getting if somebody comments on your post so that is now all under notification with inbox we have our messenger but also when people message us on facebook and on instagram as well and um you can see that all in one place here as well again I'm skipping this because out of privacy reason. Here we also have our post and stories where you now can go in there and have an overview of your post and of your stories. And let's see where you now, what you scheduled, what you published, and you can put it in draft. Here you get some more data where you now can dive in what are the most engaged posts, where you got the most comments, where you have the most reach, and then you can learn from this data and do more of what works and do less what didn't work. So those are for my posts. You can schedule your post here as well. And that helps you schedule your post for the week. So when you are like me, I am, when I'm in the flow, I'm taking an hour or I'm taking two hours and focus on just the post or the videos I want to create. So I create them in a whole row. So one video after another or one post after another, because when I'm in the flow, everything gets easier. And now we can post it and schedule it and I'm done for the week. Usually we are posting uh, creating for a month, but sometimes new things come up and we have to go in and change. And then I just take that old post, reschedule it and put in my new post so that I don't run out of content. So here you have your photos, your mentions, your tags. So that is very, very well organized now for you, similar to Creator Studio, so that you are able now to navigate and have everything in one place. We heard Facebook will get, um, uh, will remove Creator Studio on one point and will have everything with 
in Business Suite. So here is our calendar and our planner. Again, now it's a good overview, what we have scheduled, what did we post, so that you have also a visual that you can now go in where you are needing to post. For me, I still have to do the Friday and Saturday posts, but they are already scheduled out on another platform where we are streaming live into here on Facebook. We have our advertising, especially ads. This section is not only for your advertising, it also hosts all the old business manager tools. And as you can see, we now are able to go in here and have to go <clears throat> to our advertising, but I still would recommend that you are using the business manager directly because I don't like this one. I am still going, <coughs> I'm sorry, <coughs> going directly into ads manager where I have everything in there. So I have not tried that ads. I Right now, I don't like it too much because I am used to the business manager where I have everything in one and I show you how to get there. So here also, <coughs> we do have our insights where Facebook now gives us some more information, what works, what doesn't work. And here you can set up your goals, you see your results, if you are growing, what worked best and who is your audience. We have the results where we are have everything in overview and also you can see your audience and you can get into your potential audience where you now can create a potential audience and see what is working and what is not working. So here you see which cities are most looking our, uh, our pages and what other pages they are looking at. So that is very good information especially when you want to get into your audience building. And then you just open the filter and you can now look in your city. You can look up everything, what people are interested in, and Facebook gives you all this information. So very, very well go in there, research a little bit so that you know where stuff is and how you can use it. Here we also have businesses like ours and they gave us how they are doing compared to us and what they are doing compared to us. So it's always good insight information. And then we have the little tweet lines, the little hamburger, and that gets us to the tools I am looking for, which brings me directly to the creator studio, I can go directly in the creator studio and manage my business manager from here. Also, when I want to go into my <clears throat> business manager, that's where I'm going. Here I am able to go directly into my ads manager on Facebook. Oh, let's see if I, yeah in Facebook and that brings me over to the old business manager where I now have all the data back there I am looking for. So that is probably where you are aware of. You can switch your accounts over here. So always make sure that you have pulled up the right account. And now here I have my ads manager, my audience building tool, my events manager for pixeling everything so that I set up my pixel. And those are all the tools I am needing right here where I work most of the time out of it. It's my business setting, my account setting and my insights. So that's where I am going directly and I did this from my business suite where I click the little three hamburgers and now I can go directly into my business manager 
over there. Then we have reporting and the insights, which makes business manager or our business suite makes available here as well. And we have our calendars, our services. So that is directed with our page, what I can set up here on the back end. As you can see, Facebook pulled everything they have in Business Manager. And when you heard me talking about Creator Studio, that is how the Creator Studio looks right now. But we heard Facebook will get rid of it, but I'm, I'm personally still managing and using it most of the time because I am used to it and know my way around. So here as well, we have our notifications. We have a quick overview. You saw it is similar to business suite and I'm not surprised when it is gone one day. So here I have my creator Facebook and also I can switch simply over to my Instagram. So, and I have my overview there as well and can schedule posts and everything. We have our insights, our notifications. Here is my pre-published tool. Everything what is I am working on, on drafts, everything where we pre-scheduled everything, everything we have published, where I can go in into all the data I am looking for. And then here as well, again, we are having our file management where we can see the assets we are having. So, and that again, you can now find all your clips in your asset section. So when you do videos and you clip them down, that is down here. We have additional tools. So post testing where we can test post. I would recommend that if you want to start testing, test it out, some pictures, some writing. So that is what you can do here. And we have our content library where we can preload everything up. It is very similar to, to the new business suite. And again, I will not be surprised when Facebook suddenly removes our business suite. So that is an overview, how the new business suite is looking, how it is working. I will go in here, you can find it. Don't worry if you don't have business suite on here, you are not having it yet, but you should have the sidebars which would get, get you into, oh, I love and that pops up and you cannot, link it out and that is where you can go around into the eats leads uh, into the insights in your lead sender into your resources in your tools into your creator studio you at least should have this little sidebar and navigate from there into creator studio so it is very similar to business suite and when you I will link the walkthrough of the Creator Studio here in this video as well. So when you are still on the Creator Studio and have this sidebar on the left side, then that video will be for you. I will post it up in the post. If you are having that little sidebar business suite, now you are on the new business suite and everybody can wait because when it's your turn, Facebook will provide you your business suite where you now can manage your business out there. So we are not posting directly from here. And you see again, a little hint by Facebook where it says, manage your page and Instagram account together with Business Suite. So that is where Facebook now wants us to focus. So better we are getting used to the new Business Suite because I know there will be a huge, huge panic when suddenly your creator studio is gone and everything is moved over in Business Suite. What that, that will one day uh, be happening on your Facebook page, because we never know when we are on new things Facebook is giving us. So I hope it helped you understanding the new 
or your way around in Business Manager. And let me see if we have any question here. And now I have to go around and see where you are. Because I am in my live dashboard and there are no questions, make sure you ask your question if you are looking for. Let me know. I will gladly do another little video where you easily can go around when you look for something you cannot find. Let me know in the comments below and then I will make a new video for you so that you know where and how to go around in the new business suite. As always, thanks for watching this video and I will see you next time, same day, same time, same place. Thanks for watching. Dankeschön and auf Wiedersehen.